Hi right, guys, I'm back. We're gonna do where we left off with doing that last page view. So this is part four, and the last part of the um, technical guy and information. Showing you that last set, that last menu. This is not. This is just a normal. Turn the refill key. I go along to the collect button. And it will. I can recall games. I can recall any 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 games to find. Um, I can recall game one, and it will say how many credits was in the how how many credits I can recall game five. I wonder if there was four pound in game five. That's that first menu. That's the first boring menu. Right. To get to the other menu, the one where the logs are stored, I open the lower door. As you know before, just pop that to one side, doesn't do anything fancy. And I put my special refill keys in. These two machines came with this, other refill keys don't. I haven't seen any of these keys on any of the my machines or anywhere else, just these two. So that's back in turn, so the game will reinitialize and reinstall. We left off. Yep, yeah, the person that's interested in this note acceptor frame, I am considering of not of selling it, but you have to pay me a good amount because these are getting I can't seem to get a hold of these anymore. They're very hard to get a hold of. So it'll be a little bit expensive to have this because I haven't been able to find any more of these frames and I'm keeping it for another machine. I may have come in soon. So you may have lost out on your luck. Right. The other settings with with the, is the other settings with the key in and the door open. This only this setting will only come on with the door open and the key turn. So you've got the basic reef you can read for your coins. You've got the last game recall, last bank recall, config, software verification, volume control. Last note recall, hop over the error logs. So refill coins is pretty basic, it's that one, you know, the basic one. Pretty basic. Your last game recall, it's the same with the other set, and you can recall the last games. Last bank recall, you can tell you how much the how much the last time the game had money well, the last time the game was on, what how much was in the bank and you can say there was seventy pounds or one. Error logs. As you can see, this machine has a couple of errors. Mostly just a hopper failure. I'm afraid just to be ironing I've only got a couple of. I've only got a hopper failure because um, I bought the machine. It had a hopper failure. And just to display the error, to, to get the what it tells you what the error code is, you just push the cancel. And to clear it because I fixed the game now, you just push and hold the click button and it will clear the log. You can see there's no errors now. Config. It just tells you all the, tells you what tells you the date and time uh, the, the time and what dip switches are on or off. Software allocation, that's for the chip in the back of the cave. In the game you've got a game card. Has your has your logic has your chips, and that's just telling you the software. And, you know, it's a M it's a Emperor Strike Back, O four version. Goes through all the different EEPROM codes. I'm not going to go much because they're just just EEPROM codes. Volume control. I can go up and down in the volumes. You yeah, you heard that say that. Last note recall, obviously, because there was any, if there was any, if I put any notes in the machine, last of the game was on, it would log it. Obviously, I didn't. There's no notes. Hopper level. How much is they? That's your float, thirty-five pound. That's how much the hopper wants back to fill that back up to max. And that's it for that setting. 
and for most of this video. The next video that I was requested to do, which was a notice acceptor reinstall, I have removed my notice acceptor for my other game. It's all back to factory, and you'll see this in the next video. It's going to be an extremely long video, but it'll help you guys install one. So that's pretty much it for this game and this machine. Oh, besides the hopper, which I'm going to show you today. I thought, why not? In this video, I'll show you the hopper in the Star Wars one. It's the newer hopper. Not the older hoppers, the newer hoppers. The older hoppers are the one that's in the other machine. As you've seen before, it's all open. Well, this one's more a security one. And yes, that's a little mod I had to do for my you know, coin return, because my coin return does not reach my clicker. Don't know why. It came like that when I bought the machine. So this is the newer hopper. The newer style hoppers they've come out with now. For the MPU 5s and MPU 6 machines and... I'm not sure of any others. But MPU 6 uses these all the time because they're more secure and easy, more, much more friendly. I'd love to get an MPU 6 game. I really would. So this is your pound... That's your pound hopper. All my pounds go. That's the return for any rejected coins. That would be the 10p or 20p hopper if I had one installed, which I don't. These are the diverters. That's the diverter for the, when the pound hopper is full. All the any extra pounds will go down here. If I had one there, same principle. The tens or the twenties would fall down there. But as I don't have one there, all my silver coins go down that slide, down into the cash box. As you can see, there's another. You only get one when you buy these games that have pound hoppers only. You only get one note, one hopper. You can put another one in, and you can get these to make it. And you just break this top bit off, and there you go. Then you've got yourself a 10p or 20p hopper. As you can see, I've taken all the coins out to make it easier to get out. It's basically the hopper. Pound, money controls, compact hopper. The bet, it's a bit, I like this one. It's much more complex and more easy to, to fix than the uh, older styles. A lot more sensors in this. A lot, lot more sensors. No, quite a few more sensors that I was aware of when I cleaned it. So when I bought it, I kept getting hopper problems. What I did was I cleaned it with with some air with, with my airbrush. Got an air, I just got a brush and blasted out all the dust, and that seems to have helped it well. These are sometimes metal. Mine's plastic, but I have I have come across metal ones of these before. And you just that just locks into place like that. And I put the cover back on. These are fiddly covers. So I'm going to give them a shake. Uh, and they just eventually clip down in place. Oh, and there's the other half of the die. Those are the two turn shoot. This is where the money drops out and falls into the tube tray at the top. Two tray, which falls out into your cash tray. These are the two these are the two cash box shoots. There's a tube that's down both of them. They go straight into the two cash boxes to there. Which is what those two go to. I had I have I've had had coins I've had pound coins fall into it, fall down in the wrong place before. That's a common error with these new hoppers. The machine doesn't always can't understand which is what coin when you've got newer coins. This is set up to take all new British coins now. I just have to update the software for it. It's a good thing to do if you want if you want to uh, accept all new 20p's, pound coins and 10p's and 5p's. I, I recommend you do it. Update the uh, software on the game. Or if the game's too old and doesn't have one of these nice hoppers and the software that you can date. You have to do the old. You have to do the old-fashioned trick, which I've done over both of these. I've changed these. Uh, changed my uh, coin mix over. I had the. I had a company. Had the. That company send me the uh, software to update them, and I've sent those. I updated both, and so they both made to all the new coins. Can't. There's not much detail to them. Lamp drivers and real drivers. There's not much to those. So the least I can say about this. About the games. Need two speakers. 
Oh, I have no hum on this game. This game has no hum. But this game has a lot of hum from the speakers. I think it's down to um, capacitors failing on the main board here. The, auto sec the audio section down here, my board's a bit screwed up on the other game. So I'm looking for a replacement board or fixing it. So this is the game car. It has, like I was telling up the software verification. That's my software. The camera's going to focus. No. That's my software verification for this game. So you say I have adjustable keys on this one. It came with the, the default keys. But I changed them over to the adjustable keys because they're a lot more easier and more fun. To, you can change it to all the way up to 99% payout. Mm, the lowest, if I can remember, is about 58% payout. I may have got that wrong. It's been a while since I've uh, checked, checked these out. No, the lowest you can go is 70. I thought you could go a little bit lower than that. No, 70 to 99 percent on the adjustable keys, and then that top one for the prize and Tizen 6 keys. It does every single config for all machines, so it's a lot easier than these default ones. I'm going to show you. Here's the default ones that came with the game: 78 percent key, and then the jackpot key. I bought them. I bought the adjustable ones because they're a lot easier. This is the chart for the prize and sixes key. You can see you can get you got jackpots from three pound tokens in insert and work to a hundred pound cash. And you stake options. Same with percentage key. You have got the same thing. Goes ninety nine percent. It's a bit blurry on this camera. Seventy percent. You got all the dip switch settings. Spare bulbs. A company I bought it from. Both games from. Good company, I recommend them. If you want to buy a game, contact these guys because they are they do sell good games at decent prices on eBay. Their, their, their website is an eBay page. You can contact them for any technical help. I do, some time to time. But they sell good games at good prices. And I bought a few from them and I sold a few back to them. Bought them off and then I sold them back because you, know, you can do that for some credit. That's all on this one. This machine. I was once I forgot to, to talk about. Uh, I remembered in my last video. I, I checked to see if I had mentioned. I had not mentioned the uh, green. Uh, I don't think you can see it. No, it's just about here. I just that. No, I'm afraid you can't see it, guys. Just up there. Here, yeah, where this white bit is, there's a green switch. No, just 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 here, guys. There's a green switch. I haven't got a torch to show you, but it's green. Don't worry, it's green. That's to dump all the hopper. That's to dump all the pounds from the hopper that I don't tend to use, or I don't know how to get. This game doesn't like this machine. Doesn't like the hopper dump switch system where you have to hold the test switch. And that's switching at the same time with both doors open. This machine doesn't do it. This machine does. That machine you could do it on, but this machine doesn't. And I'm not sure what it is. But the switch does register when you push it. So if anyone can help me on that fault with the Star Wars one, please do. So that's it for this, this video. Part 4, technical and bit of gameplay. There's nothing else that I haven't mentioned. Except the reels. I'm not going to take the reels off and show you them in detail. So that's it. See you, and I'd like, um, please comment down below if I've missed anything or you want to know anything more. Bye!